Hi everyone, Shana here from Shanuki. Uh, I wanted to share with you this journal that I've recently made. I used a envelope like this as the cover. I didn't cut it or anything, I just used it as is. And I covered the outside with strips of paper and stitched them together. Sort of like a Franken paper, I suppose, but um, with coordinating colors. I used one sheet of the um, 16 inch by 16 inch um, scrapbook paper and I just ripped little pieces and I just alternated them and used them to make this pattern. I did a button closure, it's my first one I've made so I don't know if it's been done correctly but it works and I put some little beads on the end of the closure and I'll just show you what I have inside. I've kept it quite plain um, and I thought a person could use it for uh, as a travel journal or for a dream journal or just an art journal, um, glue book, um, anything like that. These, all these, this inside paper is also coordinating from the paper pad that I purchased. And then I've just used bits and pieces. Um, because of the size of it, folding an A4 paper long ways in half made it a little bit too short. So to make it longer, I sort of stitched pieces together. So it's a bit of a patchwork. But I actually quite like how the effect came out in the end. I did quite a bit of stitching of different pieces of paper. Some plain. I've used a bit of craft paper. Sorry, not craft paper. Scrap of paper. Lined paper. I like leaving the edge of the spiral where it's been torn. I like to keep that in. This is actually wrapping paper, but the colors coordinated well. Some more patchwork papers. This is the same as I've used on the inside of the flap. I had a piece left over. Some spotty paper. I've just used some spotty washi tape on the end, just to give a little bit of color. Some of the hearts, some plain pink. This is just a journaling card that I've just attached with some washi tape. Same down here. Lots of stitching. Just a receipt. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, um, I like to keep record of how many journals I've made. And I do that by putting in one of these receipts with a number. So this one would be my 38th journal that I've made. It's just for my own. Thing. I started with the first one and I thought I'll just keep it going. Just plain. Some more washi tape on the end. And the stitching. And that's it. So I just did the outside where I did it with the strips. And then um, I put the inside piece and then stitched it all around the end. And then I put a coordinating piece on this end and just stitched all the way around. I added my button, I just stitched that through as well and left the long string um, as the tie and that is my journal. Um, any details of my um, Instagram and my Etsy store are going to be in the comments of this video. Um, if you'd like me to show you how I did the cover or any elements of this journal, please just comment below and I'm happy to share that. Thanks for looking.